The Chesapeake Bay, it's the largest estuary in North America. This vast watershed includes parts of six different states, Delaware, Maryland, New York, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and West Virginia, not to mention the entire District of Columbia. It holds more than 18 trillion gallons of water, half of which comes as salt water from the Atlantic Ocean, and the fresh water from all the surrounding rivers and streams. The fishing industry is vital to the region's economy and culture. We're talking close to 34,000 jobs. For generations, local commercial fishermen have built their livelihood upon the waters of the Chesapeake Bay, capturing striped bass and blue crab, not to mention oysters, herring, shad, and more. However, in the early 1970s, some folks thought that they had this great idea. They introduced the blue catfish into the Chesapeake Bay. It was fun to catch, it was prolific, and unfortunately, it was very hungry. Not to be confused with the common channel catfish, these large, smooth, slate blue fish anchored themselves in the bay, and with no real natural predators, meaning pretty much only the osprey and the eagles, they multiplied and started eating up everything in sight including that tasty striped bass and the sweet crab. Their introduction has been devastating to the natural balance of the bay's ecology and hurting the local fishing communities. These blue catfish are opportunistic predators that have been feasting on the bounty of the bay. And according to a recent study, it's thought that the blue catfish now account for close to 75% of the fish biomass in the Chesapeake. So now all those fishermen who used to catch that range of valued species, well, now they're seeing nothing but catfish. So what can we do? I'm glad you asked. We can eat our way back to a healthy Chesapeake. Perfect for home cooks and chefs, this mild tasting catfish is affordable. It tastes great. Eating it helps the ecosystem and it's always in season. So available across the nation, wild Chesapeake blue catfish, it's a delicious way to save the bay.